So we're on our Rover 75 here at the DPN car collection and uh, I've had this little video, kind of a maintenance thing we do but something that's also good if you just um, purchased a Rover 75 is to check that this void here, it's kind of in between the bulkhead of the car and the bulkhead of the engine, I think some people call the plenum chamber, uh, is cleared out and that it isn't filling up with water due to the little drain blocking uh, you can get access to it from this side and uh, also on this side and basically you've got two little clips here and here you remove them and peel it off and on this side you've got the um, brake servo and the wiper motor and then when you lift off this side underneath you'll find a little shield and uh, that protects the um, pollen filter and the computer box from getting direct water on it and that's one of the reasons um, for cleaning this out is because if the drain does block then what can happen is you can get water that goes through the pollen filter and ruins that and not only ruins that but it can get into the car but it can also damage the computer box which is stored in there uh, basically there's one drain that's down here when we remove this flap and there's also a little drain here as well which um, also needs clearing out or checking we do it regularly so hopefully it's not too dirty now and i keep a little check um, every sort of couple of months by lifting this one off and just looking down this um, void in here and seeing if you can see any water which um, there isn't really any water in there and I'll give you a little bit better view of a torch a little bit later on but to do the full clean you have to remove this um, shield and that's also the shield you're um, removed to change the pollen filter there's not too much to it there's this little plastic screw here and then these little things have to be popped out and hopefully you don't have to pop them all out to gain access to it so uh, that's the next bit we're going to do then I'll show you properly inside the plenum chamber so I've removed that little screw here and we've popped out these little plastic um, sort of popper clipper um, devices which you can still see are that side and then remove the shelf and basically all you need to do is just lift this up slightly uh, there as you can see and then pull this whole shelf right out the way I'll just stand that there she's quite a size but it just literally um, slides out from under this bit here um, and that allows you access to see inside the um, void there the plenum chain but as you can see in this side you've got your uh, pollen filter and then back there you've got the uh, ECU for the engine and that's why you need to sort of keep this void check that it doesn't fill up with water and as you can see here there's no real water and there's just a little bit laying up the end but that black circle there that's your little drain and that's what I'll be um, putting a little um, drain unblocker down just to uh, check it's not too clogged and actually looking at it there is a little bit of uh, mud and dirt in there although it is still draining so this is definitely worth doing and as I said I'll also be doing um, that little um, drain there so that doesn't overspill into this uh, we just come round to this side and you can get a little bit of a better view down uh, in there there's the um, servo and uh, there's the um, void plenum chamber in there again just a little teeny bit of water so it doesn't look like it's draining pretty well uh, we'll give it a little blow out and a clean and uh, what I'm using is one of these little um, pump type bottles there where you um, pump up the pressure then you've got this little uh, spray nozzle here and the reason I'm using that is because I can fill that up with soapy water um, and use it to wash out the dirt but obviously you don't want to get too much water in there because you have got the ECU and you've got your um, pollen filter so that just allows you to wash it out without getting too much water in there 
So these are the little drain blockers we use. These are the ones actually for putting down a plug on, pulling out any hair or anything. But they're really useful for doing this job. Uh, this big one for doing the um, bigger part of the bottom of the um, chamber. And this one doing for the uh, little holes, what we're going to do um, now. So just a distant shot here to give you a rough idea of where we're working, which is on this side. Uh, basically all I do is spray a little bit of water in just so there's something there to wash down the drain hole. And then it's a case of just um, putting this down and just making sure it's not too clogged and that any dirt should fall out. And I'll probably do that a little bit more and uh, rinse it through. But that's um, basically all we do with this drain hole here. So then really it's the same with the drain at the bottom of the plenum chamber, the void between the cabin and the engine. Um, only you need to be a little bit more careful because you've got the ECU there and uh, the cabin filter there. And that's why this little spray is so useful to just basically squirt a little bit of water in there and uh, then basically unclog and uh, unblock. And it's just a case of doing that um, until you've got it clear through, which I'm going to do right now. And as you can see, with um, a little bit of um, pushing the drain unblocker stick through and uh, spraying the water, it's now a lot clearer, and actually it was worse than uh, even I thought it was. And you can now just see a little bit of daylight, because the pipe narrows off, um, and then the water pushes it back open. We've been cleaning it out. Uh, it's just opened it up a little bit, and you can see right the way down there, and you can see just how much dirt was in there, and that's us keeping a regular check and cleaning it out once a year. So you can see how much worth it is doing. Um, what I'm going to do now is, um, blow off the cabin filter and uh, blow some air in there from our air compressor just to check that there is um, no sort of extra dampness or moisture left behind. So now we've checked that both little drains are unblocked and uh, cleaned out the bottom drain. It's a case of uh, cleaning up this plastic tray, um, wiping all round and uh, also using the air give everything a blow round like that and that's what I'm going to do now is just give that a good blowing out check it's uh, nice and uh, dry and also try and blow some of the cobwebs which you probably can't see on the camera but there's quite a few cobwebs down there and this um, compressed air will blow that out as well so whilst I'm just blowing out with a compressed air what I've done um, is pulled the cabin filter um, forward and basically to, to get that out, all you need to do is just unclip it here and um, also um, just here and uh, it will pull forward and when you're removing it you then pull it out but it is a bit of a tight squeeze to save us damage in it I've just pulled it forward and blowing some air uh, down there to get any debris out and on the front now we can do that because it wasn't changed all that long ago um, so it's not due for a change it's not really dirty if it's really dirty it probably does need changing or taking right out and giving a good blow out but um, as I say because it's more or less um, new only about a year year and a half hold and not had lots and lots of use um, we can do that and then all it does basically is just pushes back and uh, it clips in and uh, that's your pollen filter in so it's also useful to know if you want to change it it's kind of um, this job but while you're doing it it's worth giving it a blowout and uh, a check Another bit that's worth quickly mentioning while you're doing this job is where the um, wiper harm comes out. There's a little drain hole and it's worth just poking that out and also on the um, blanking plate one and that just drains through into the plenum chamber but another place where water could build up. So the plastic tray protector is back in and uh, all cleaned up. Uh, it's just a case now of putting this rubber seal back and also you need to put this plastic screw back here and uh, also add in the three plastic little clip poppers in there and then of course put in these 
pieces um, back on there like that and uh, that's the job done hopefully you found that of use and again gives you sort of an idea or a guide to do it if you weren't sure quite how to do it or maybe you didn't realize it was something well worth checking we we'll check it now every um, couple of months or so which is probably a little bit over the top but uh, it only takes a few seconds to just remove this one from this side and then peer down there and see if it's starting to fill up with water and then in a year or so's time we do a full complete clean as i said i was quite surprised um just how much mud had got in there or sort of um grime and dust had got in there uh, in just over a year it's a good chance to blow out the cabin filter as well as always don't forget to subscribe to our instagram or of course our twitter page of course subscribe and uh, like this channel and video as well